Hello. When last we spoke, I visited Kakariko Village to inform the Elder Impa that I had defeated Ivan Ruta, or rather, reclaimed. Now, it's time to take on the divine beast Varudenia. This is Akala. This is a green country beneath me. And uh, that rocky land is Elden. I'm in the northeast of Hyrule now. Somewhere around here are various things which may help me in my goal of uh, finding Varudania and freeing it. I know Varudania itself is up on the mountain, Death Mountain, the volcano. Can't see it right now, but it's, it's probably on the other side, but it'll crawl around at some point. Goron City is here somewhere. Um, I think the Foothills Stable in Elden would be a good place to start looking for Goron City, because that's down there. I think that's the road to where the Gorons live. Somebody there said it was. Um, there's some sort of mysterious shop named the, S the Fang and Bone at a place called Skull Lake. People have exhorted me to visit or stay away from. I've also got another few things on the boil. There's a Terry Town down there. The Bolson Construction Project. I think I've got enough wood to deliver to Hudson, so I should probably visit Tarrytown and drop that off. Um, there's whatever this is. Some interesting islands along the north coast, including this labyrinth island, which is spoken of in rumours. I read a, a rumour journal about that, which there was some sort of amulet there. I also want to get up Death Mountain itself and find a way to, like, not be burned to death. I do have fire resistance stuff, I'm not sure if it's enough. Whoa, there we are. Varudania. Glowing with the pink of calamity. Alright, let's ditch this citadel and head to Tarrytown. I wonder if I could land on that thing and attack it from above. This is unwise. Oh, that was unwise. Oh, I'm running away. Maybe if I had better timing. So these islands along the eastern coast are interesting. One of them is named after Tingle, which worries me. <laughs> Surely he's not in this game. Uh, this spiral thing is odd. There's some kind of weird cool valley of pillars up there. There's a big area. Many things are going on. Hey, luminous rocks. Luminous rocks. Not that useful by themselves, although it does say in the item description they're useful to make some kind of clothing. Um, so I guess I probably want them. But the other thing about luminous rocks is you can trade ten of them in for a diamond. A diamond's very valuable, so that makes a luminous rock in effect as valuable as, like, amber at least. So they're worth picking up. I saw some here and some at the base of the cliffs. Is one of the great fairy fountains. Rip you. Oh, try boomerang. Those are actually pretty good, I think. Much better than this spear I'm using, to be honest. But uh, this will force have like one hit point, so it doesn't matter. Speaking of hit points, I want to learn more monster hit points, so let's put on the champion's shirt. Champion's tunic. What kind of stuff should I wear? Let's try out one of these weird hats I got from... DLC content. It's just a leaf.
Hey, I heard a, heard a yelling and my mask is doing a thing. Pinwheel, what the hell? Okay, so that means a, there's a Korok nearby, right? Hmm, this is good to know. Where is it though? I guess I'll climb up to a high place and look for puzzles and things. Some fireflies. Unlike the Sheikah sensor, unfortunately, this Korok mask thing, its little pinwheel, isn't really directional. So I might know there's a Korok around somewhere. It doesn't necessarily help me to find it. Hmm. I guess if I go far enough and it stops fluttering and chirping. Oh no, I've gone in the wrong direction. Yeah. The fact that it activates like in this large an area oh, I know, is to me an indication that this mask is not going to be super useful. apple trees are kind of cool. I wonder... I wonder... if I should try cutting them down. Because they're kind of interesting to sort of stand out in a row here. I do need a bunch of wood for Hudson. Mm, that didn't lead to anything particular happening. Do I see any puzzly things down there? No. Just the trees. mask went silent here as well. Hmm. So it's no longer signaling at me. Ah. When I got higher it did. Okay, so I guess it's this kind of altitude that I want to be at. Oops. Extreme whoops. I'd love to get more stamina wheels. Do some shrines, get some spirit orbs, put the points in stamina. But, um, I need more heart containers, because I want to get the Master Sword. In the Korok Forest, I had eight hearts when I first tried to pull it out. That wasn't enough. I have ten now, so I should go and try it again at some point. I don't want to over heart here. Hmm. Wearing this mask is a distraction. Maybe I shouldn't have put it on. <laughs> then again, everything in the game is a distraction from everything else in the game. Whoa, a lot of skills in this. Big. I 
Unfortunately, the mask has stopped making noise because I'm fighting skeletons. Or has it? Maybe it stopped making noise because I was too far away. This region is definitely near the center of the Korok notification. Well, I do want as many Korok seeds as possible. And I don't want to be hit by lightning. I want to spend an enormous amount of time on something where I've got no real guidance as to how to find the Korok. Like, okay, the, it stopped spinning the pinwheel that came over here, so that's too far in, in some direction. I'm consistently getting the sense that this ledge is roughly the area. But being roughly the area doesn't help. Or it goes, hey, hey, at certain points. Is that like when you're moving in the right direction? Or is it random? Oh, too far in some direction. Also. Okay, enough for now, it's raining too hard. This is an unpleasant place to be. I'm switching hats. This one's annoying. It's where Midna's helmet. Yeah. That looks very silly. I only played a bit of Twilight Princess. I actually think I played a few hours of it, but had a really slow start. And just kind of came across as boring, unfortunately. Let's get in out of the cold and hope Hudson's being sensible enough to do the same. Wow, he's dedicated. Mm. Yes, I did. <laughs> nope, bye. Mm. Boulders. Brute physical strength to tear mm. boulders apart. Huh. <laughs> to find a Goron whose name ends in Sun. I don't suppose you could just bomb them? Oh, that okay. I 
I think there's potential here. Alright, let's investigate the islands in the spiral on the eastern coast. And uh, I'll head up to the stables in the north eventually. Well, I am looking for Gorons today. So maybe I'll find one who matches these specifications. Should probably go to the stable sooner rather than later in order to, like, enable horse. One thing I'd be worried about living out there if they build Tarrytown is this bridge thing. Is that going to survive forever? Is it going to get turned into an island at some point? The rain has become a gentle mist instead of the thunderstorms of earlier. Okay, this is an interesting formation. Where is this on the map? Wrist Peninsula. Oh hey, I see one of those things. Archery competitions. No, this one's not an archery competition, this is a climbing challenge. Hmm. Climbing fast I can do, but not in the rain. I'll have to return for that. Dog. Good dog. Actually, maybe it's not a good dog. Oh, nice. It's a flower challenge. I was heading down here anyway. I think I've already got a warm Dana, but I do need a spare one to give to a young child as a birthday present. Ah! <laughs> I didn't realize that Pig would be quite so aggressive. Maybe I'll put on some more reasonable gear. That's an orb. Unfortunately at this point I need like 15 Korok seeds for my next 
with the stash upgrade. Ah, lightning again. As soon as I put Metal Gear back on. Collect this orb from this temple I hope it's not gonna make me a target of electricity. I think it's ceramic or something. And uh, I feel like I should take this orb out along the causeway. It just looks like the sort of thing to do. Like if this isn't a shrine quest, you may call me a monkey's uncle. I would be the uncle of the monkey. Oh no, moblins. this near them and you get struck by it. Whoop! Okay, well, I won't be using that box. These fish I just picked up. Get got. Oh no, my orb. <laughs> Shit, it's been rolling, I guess. Alright, onward. Onward and inward. I can't see what's out there too well. But there's a bit of an orange glow. Which I'm morally certain would be an orb slot. Oh, this is dangerous weather. Particularly for anyone who runs across me. It is night. No, it's not. It's just very dark. I was going to say, if it was night time, I could use uh, the stealth set to move faster. Ah. Oops, I didn't really mean to use ice arrows there. But uh, whatever works. Why do I even have the forest all this spear? Huh. I guess I totally smashed the book problem. Run away, pony.
crabs are delicious. At least in this game, I haven't actually had a lot of crab meat dishes in my life. I probably could have swum with this. But I like going all the way around the spiral. I'm trying to hit him with the orb, but uh, he's riding too fast. Okay, now I can do it. I didn't do much. Oop, I definitely didn't do much. Okay, do not run away from me. Please, no. Okay, good. It's all fast. Oh, what? No, that's my fucking orb. Fuck off. What did he even want to do with it? I know from bitter experience on even Tide Island that if I leave that guy alone he will be a huge pain. Dragonflies. Whoa, holy shit. Like a million dragonflies in one spot and then they all vanished. I'm gonna call that a glitch of some kind. Whoa, it's happening again. Okay, I won't fall for the fake dragonflies in the beach. Thank you. I see that little boss fawn on the edge of the water. No way, it's a snail. like I'm under siege as a bombardment. <laughs> that poor crab. Okay, 
enough is enough. No, wait. Don't roll, don't roll. Ah! No! Oh, no! I just had somewhere I could put this down. Okay. Keeps turning his head at the worst moment. There we go. <laughs> yeah, little buzz is so cool. I just love the way they move and look. Right. We're out of Octrox for now. Spiral has been surprisingly arduous to traverse. I've encountered geometry before, like, I know what mathematics is, but uh, usually going in a circle inward involves less battles. Hopefully a shrine pops up. Yes. Thank you. Oh. While I'm here, that looks like a pile of burnable leaves, doesn't it? Yes, I thought I recognized that thing. Cork mist. I find them much more easily when I'm not wearing the mask. Okay. Let's head north to the stables in the ancient tech lab. At least I believe it'll be an ancient tech lab. This is where the mysterious Robbie works, right? It looks like another telescope. west of where I am. Northwest. East of Carla Stable. Or I can just fast travel there. Farewell to all these idiot monsters that have nothing better to do than spend their time waiting in a spiral. Waiting for someone to open a shrine. Monster ecology doesn't make a lot of sense. I guess they're sustained by the power of evil, and like the blood moon. No issues to report. Uh, that's the guard guy who wants reports on Kilton. Oh, this. Mm, I had an Easter color bun before, and it wasn't that tasty. It's a cool dog. 
Good boy. Let's take a nap. Princess's ritual. I've met Nobu before. What? She was the one who talked about the spring of courage. Mm. Uh. Spring of power, right? Yes. Mm. Yes, and I, I went there, and it was like, yes, give me a, the the scale of a red spirit, which I suspect is a dragon, but uh, I don't have the scale of such a thing. Mm. Try fighting one of those dragons. Yeah. The one in Farron is not hard to reach. Energetic Rhino Beetle. Yes, I knew he'd like this when I bought it. <laughs> Enjoy. That's actually quite a good elixir. So many things, Beetle. Mother wing butterfly. Ooh. Cheap and powerful heat resistance. Yes, please. Wow. Given that I'm heading up towards Death Mountain. All these things are useful. This one, not as much. Horses like them, though. Whoa! Oh shit. <laughs> well, I won't be going out there wielding this. Alright, give me a horse. I don't think I want enormous today, I want Doug back so I can give him this new bridle I found. It's my fastest horse at the moment. I should really investigate the rumours of the royal family's white steed. See so if I can find like a super cool horse. Enormous is pretty cool though. I took off my sword and shield. I don't think. I guess the armor might matter as well. here offering to do bridle and gear changes. I guess this stable doesn't offer that service. Good morning. Blue flame. Oh, like uh, from the other. I could probably bring some blue fire down here if you like. Oh, I will head up there. Hey, it's a, a wet boron. Madden. If only your name was Madison. <laughs> Do not eat the ore. <laughs> Look at Doug's shiny wet mane. He's quite a pretty horse. Hmm, so I want to change horse gear. But either due to the weather or because they don't offer the service of this stable, I cannot. No. Oh. Try out this so-called anti-guardian helmet. 
but that's not actually what it's called at all. Is it still thundering? Hmm. So I'm supposed to fight this thing without being able to use any good weapons. You know what I could do? I could try and use the ancient arrow. So I'll save the game, because I only have one of those. With a well, something's happening. Huh. That ancient arrow appears to have been extremely effective. Cool. If this Robbie is the person who knows how to deal with ancient tech bits, then uh, I will have some to show him. Though I already had some as well. I hope that live guardian on the road wasn't like a pet or something. The placement of it seems suspicious. for dug a place out of the rain, but it's not clear there is one. So what do we got here? Some kind of conservatory, which has fallen off it appears. Another probably non-functional telescope. Huge piles of metal crap. There's dead guardians everywhere. There used to be so many of these things. I guess the idea was that they had to fight a whole horde of bokoblins. And moblins and all the other oblins and foss. I've seen that kind of butterfly before. Let's see if I can sneak up on it. Summer wing butterfly. An elixir that makes you feel warm and fuzzy. Nice. Let's head in here. The pilot light on this one seems to be out as well. Not sure where it'd get blue flame to fill that up. Um. Uh. There's like a bed here for a human being. Memoirs. Is that something I can talk to? Let's read this diary. Back to
This name is Blatchery Plain. Hmm. Let's do that again. This talks about how Link was defeated. Fort Hayden, oh, Link battled an army of guardians there and was where he's been defeated. I've been there, I've seen that field of guardians. Like, holy shit, there were a lot of them, so... He fought all of them? Mm, I would lose to that. Huh, Pure just kind of walked off. Life of Solitary Research. Tumlia Heights. Blue Flame. I may need to remember that. Ancient Soldier Gear. A voice? What? Sharon. I take it 90 is not that old for Sheikah. Oh my god. Love triangle with a robot. Ancient oven. Grunte. Wonder if he's out there. Well, the researcher's life story was interesting, but, um, why is there nobody here? Shouldn't Jaren and Robbie still be present? Leaving that can of worms aside, that's got to be Cherry, the ancient oven. Maybe something happened to them. This place doesn't look totally abandoned. What? <laughs> Hello? Maybe it is abandoned. If there are Koroks here, the nature reclaimed it. Hmm. Alright, I better talk to the robot find out what is going on here. The live guardian down the road, I wonder if that has anything to, the one that was live anyway, anything to do with there not being anyone here. And it's... Oh! Oh shit, okay! <laughs> there they are! I guess I just arrived when they were out. Yes.
wounds. Well, like, wasn't the point of the resurrection cave to get rid of the wounds? And heal and stuff? Hmm. Maybe... Well, maybe if I take all my clothes off, they will in fact be wounds visible. Don't see a lot of wounds. In his diary, this guy portrayed Pura as the weird one. I'm not so sure. The Calamity. I want to hear his story. It's not the depersonalization thing. They don't think of Ganon as a person, or even a, in this guy's case, even as an entity, just a sort of force. That time is now. Yeah. Kinky. of swords. I don't know, I can get the blue flame, I guess. Does it mount something, right? Uh, hey. I should probably put some clothes back on. Left eye of Skull Lake. Uh huh. Okay. These guys are fairly straightforward compared to the other researchers. Alright, let's put some stuff on. You're looking for that blue flame. I've already got a torch, I believe. So, on the map... Tumlia Heights. Could be interesting. I need to reach the peak to the west of where I am. And then light lanterns from there to here. the lanterns will run down the hill and back to the stable and then back up around cool did I did I actually activate that shrine's travel gate I don't think I did crap <laughs> oh when I get down to the stables now nah, I'll do it at some other point not urgent
Pinning is good. here. Should I take all of them, I guess? But first, I'll go to Stableswood. If that is even a thing. No lanterns down here? Maybe there's actually only one main route down off the mountain. Or maybe not. Maybe there's zero. set people on blue fire. It's just normal fire, I guess.
One reason I've been cavalier about taking damage recently is because I had this stock of crappy food that I picked up in monster camps. I've mostly burned through that now, so most of my food is now like real food, and I won't so cavalierly consume it. Stuff which actually fills me up and gives me like a bonus. <laughs> These lamps were probably once quite convenient and pretty to navigate before moblins turned up. Thereabouts. the labyrinth I saw on the map. Holy crap. That looks interesting. isn't particularly useful against these guys. Faster attacking weapon is better. So how do I get in there? What do I do once I get there? I guess I glide down off the cliffs near the tech lab. And so uh, a place I'll soon have a fast travel gate to. So that would be interesting. Navigating by the map may actually be the way to go. That's five wise. There was a torch back at the tech lab, which I'll use to replace my broken one here. Nearly broken.
I like how knights are in some ways less dangerous, because monsters sleep. Okay, this guy's asking for it. Notice how I'm running faster than usual? It's the power of the stealth set at night. They ignore them, they're just bugs on fire. Just bones with horns. Is this the one where there was another path with lanterns on it? <laughs> Begin burning, if you please. Where's the stables? Hmm. I don't quite know how I'm going to reach either the tech lab or the stables from this path. Maybe I'm not. Maybe it's a dead end. There's a land in here, though. Path continues. Sort of. Continues and then stops. I want to light the way back to the stables. There was that woman who missed the fire. There is no path of lanterns back to the stables. It's interesting. Just the one out here, just a kind of outpost of lanterndom. Hmm, there are more in various places. The landscapes are just kind of scattered randomly with these things. I'm entirely unsure whether there's an actual benefit to lighting them all. Soothing. I guess. It's pretty nice. Do 
even more of them. I just wonder. Here a land, there a land, everywhere return land. Ah. Now, rain that doesn't put out the lanterns, but it does put out my torch. This is deeply inconvenient. Actually, so it's so incredibly inconvenient, I may have to go somewhere else and do something else for a while. Wow. There's just this one lantern here I wanted to light. Possibly some others beyond it, but I don't know. Oh yes. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'll take the opportunity to clear my pin by yeah, traveling down to that spiral again. At least the glow of shrines is visible a long way off. There's a beacon in the fog. I rule though, it's not exactly a Mediterranean climate, is it? It's like Northern European. Almost Siberian actually, with big forests and rainstorms. I see a little foss. However, with the Zora said, I have a way to fight these in the water. Whoops! Fuck. Well, I'm not in the water anymore, legally speaking. And consequently, instead of doing a spin attack, I attacked with my torch and broke it. current program is return to the stable shrine, return to the lab, get the new torch there, come downhill, pick up the flame, light the remaining lanterns, bring fire up to the stable to the tech lab, and get access to ancient soldier armor. Whatever that is. It sounds good to have. It's pretty I left my horse up there. One of the reasons I want to visit a uh, gear exchanger is that I found a saddle and bridle which had said something about um, being able to call your horse to you from longer distances or something. It seemed good. Because right now the horse call is almost useless. 
I can basically see Doug. He's there. Uh, where he was. Hmm. That's where I left him. Well, I can see where Doug should be. But I can't actually get him. There we are. It's kind of basically too late at this point. See, this is a much better way to travel, so if I could reliably do it, I would. Just runs around. I wonder if one of the divine beasts is a pig. There's like a lizard of some sort, an elephant. One of them flies, so probably not a pig. I don't know what the other one's like at all. It remains unclear just why I am doing this. The answer is basically because I can the- oh, that's another one. The lanterns exist, lighting them is kind of soothing, and I have a vague hope that if I light all of them something might happen, even though it didn't happen last time. I mean, I may have missed one last time. But... Wait, where's my shield? I don't know, on what? Okay, no wonder I was taking a lot of damage there. on the hill there. It would be very easy to have missed one in Haydner. Like just how far do these things go? that far, I guess. But how can you be sure? to follow me, basically. He's offended since he already was following me, I guess. Oh, 
I like the fish-like appearance of the Zora armor. One final lantern and the actual pilot light. Let's turn on this cherry. Materials. Um, <laughs> oh, wow, nice, extremely effective against guardians. That will come in handy. Anti calamity. What's that thing on his back? A boombox? <laughs> Lots of rubies. Cool. I don't need anything from you, I just wanted to see if you wanted to chat. So, is this different to Guardian gear? Seemingly. You spend your materials, your screws, shafts, etc. Ancient shafts are what I'm lowest on. You get stuff. I'm going to prioritize the armor here over any of the equipment, since the weapons will break and I want arrows. I will buy some of these at some, at some point to check them out, I think. The main thing I want to do, though, is find two more ancient shafts and one more, and like eight ancient cores to get this armor set with. Hmm. So if I'm not going to compromise that, I might as well get some other things. Giant ancient core. So the only things that use a giant ancient core are the ancient shield. Ancient bow. Maybe I'll get an ancient bow then, having an extremely good bow for rare circumstances. Could be good. 10 gears, 15 springs. Oh, I'll not, a lot of, need a lot of gears for the, the stuff. But let's splurge just this once. That's definitely the, by far the most powerful bow I've ever seen. Come again, Blop. The string vanishes when it's not in use. Nice. It's like a laser bow string. Alright, so I've got that available when I, for when I need to shoot things really hard. Why do I have a spiked bow, Kobo? Those are just bad. Cool, let's get ancient. So I already um, 
fixed up the map pin situation. This bluff that I'm on looked like it would be a good place from which to reach the labyrinth. Ah, yes. And, as expected, there's a shrine there. Actually, I didn't expect that. I didn't know what I expected. That looks cool. Let's save the game.